The following is an ESG video brief. Hi, I'm Colin Keegan, Senior Analyst from ESG, covering the cloud segment. With 70% of IT respondents to ESG survey on hybrid cloud trends indicating they are planning to deploy hyperconverged infrastructure, we could be on the verge of a huge surge in hyperconverged adoption. VMware and VC have recently announced a new hyperconverged offering called VxRail, which is the successor to VSpecs Blue. This solution will become part of the VCE family of blocks, racks, and appliances and will be fully supported by VCE. VMware came to market a few years ago with their hyperconverged offering made available through their partner ecosystem. EMC sold it as VSpecs Blue. This offering wasn't quite embraced as well as other offerings on the market. While it did provide for resource scalability, it didn't quite provide the type of resource scaling granularity that many businesses are looking for. VSpec Blue starts at a minimum of four nodes and then can scale out in four node increments. But this lack of granularity in scaling resources can often result in over-provisioned infrastructure and higher costs, particularly in smaller environments. Another drawback is that vSpecsBlue doesn't contain storage services like inline data deduplication and compression. Competing offerings with these types of services can provide increased efficiencies, better investment protection of flash resources, and an overall lower total cost of ownership. To respond to the market, VMware and VCE have now partnered to deliver a new offering called VxRail. VxRail is really intended for mid-sized data centers and enterprise branch office locations, but as we'll see, I really think it can be leveraged in some larger data center environments as well. Existing vSpecs Blue customers who wish to integrate their existing environment into a VxRail configuration can do so through a no-charge professional services engagement. VxRail provides more flexible configuration options and more granular scaling of compute, memory, and storage resources than its predecessor. For example, there are four different VxRail appliance models to choose from, which provide a choice of various Intel processor, memory, and storage configuration options. These appliances can then be configured with a combination of flash and hard disk drives to provide the right blend of fast storage I.O. with efficient, dense storage capacity. VxRail will also soon support all flash appliance configurations for those workloads that require very low latent performance. As a massively scalable architecture, VxRail can start with as little as four nodes and then grow out to a 64 node cluster, which really provides dense compute, memory, and storage capacity. And to improve the granularity by which resources get deployed, VxRail will soon support three node appliance deployments with the ability to scale up in single node increments. But I think more importantly, VxRail is now going to provide much more flexibility because now you can mix and match appliances within a cluster. This gives businesses more flexibility. They can deploy the right resource at the right time to meet the variable performance requirements of their business applications. So if more computing resources are needed, an appliance with more robust computing capabilities can be integrated into the cluster. And if more storage capacity is needed, an appliance that is configured with more storage resources can be deployed. From a software perspective, VxRail incorporates several new important capabilities, leveraging new storage I.O. and cache optimization enhancements for VMware vSAN 6.1. Secondly, VxRail now provides inline data deduplication to deliver up to 50% storage savings. VCE also integrates data compression into VxRail appliances to provide additional storage efficiencies for workloads like database applications. In a recent blog, I stated that those solutions that provide more of a out-of-the-box hybrid cloud experience would likely do well in the new hyperconverged gold rush. VxRail is providing integrated support for hybrid cloud computing capabilities. With EMC's Cloud Array technology shipping with every VxRail appliance, businesses can gain seamless, multi-protocol access to public cloud storage resources like AWS, Google, vCloud Air, and others as well as storage residing in private cloud environments. This can be used to support popular cloud use cases like deep data archival and user file sharing. Likewise, VxRail's multiple integration points with VMware vCloud Air provide businesses with this out-of-the-box hybrid cloud computing platform to support additional cloud use cases like dev tests in the cloud, virtual desktop infrastructure, and application workload balancing. VxRail appliances can be centrally monitored and configured from a single pane of glass through VCE's vision management framework. In fact, those businesses utilizing multiple VCE solutions can manage all their blocks, racks, and appliances directly from vision. 
Let's move on to some upcoming feature upgrades planned for VxRail. One that can certainly be a big differentiator is application quality of service policies. Virtual administrators will be able to define QoS policies at a VM level to prioritize access to VxRail system resources for critical applications. This feature can really be a big win for IT administrators as many that I've spoken with claim that performance management in highly virtualized environments can be time consuming, challenging, and fraught with risk. VM definable QoS policies could help bring much needed relief to overworked IT admins and by bringing increased automation to application performance management, this can potentially help free up busy IT guys to focus on things like business service delivery rather than operational management, while also helping IT organizations be more consistent with meeting application service levels. With the planned future release of iSCSI services, businesses will be able to provision VxRail storage resources to bare metal servers. This allows for additional storage resource sharing, infrastructure consolidation, improved storage utilization, and simpler management of shared storage pools. So there you have it. Looks like VMware and VC have taken a giant leap forward with VxRail. It might be time for businesses to take a new look at VCE's offering because they just might like what they see upon closer inspection.